Hello, and welcome to Least Queries Accountants Angle, a podcast where our experts answer your most burning questions regarding accounting topics and upcoming changes. I'm your host, Shannon Matthews, Marketing Communications Manager here at Least Query, and today we're back with Tyler Diaz, Director of Engineering, SaaS Spend Products, to continue to chat more about SaaS Spend and our new product offering, StackShine. But before we jump back into our interview with Tyler, you may be wondering why a lease accounting software provider acquired a SaaS spend management software provider. Well, leases and SaaS subscriptions account for two of a company's largest areas of spend. In fact, SaaS spend has seen explosive growth over the last several years. Recent data from Gartner shows that SaaS spend is growing by 15 to 20% annually, while organizations overspend on SaaS by at least 25%. So with those stats in mind and some of the conversation from part one of our podcast with Tyler, let's go ahead and get started. How do you see SaaS spend evolving over time? So basically, if you had this magic crystal ball and you could predict the future, no pressure, but <laughs> what do you say is next as far as just SaaS spend and like its growth and how this tool will become more and more of a need for organizations? Well, I think what we saw um, as a result of, of COVID, um, where a lot of businesses went from um, sort of in-person to uh, fully remote, um, and now it seems like these are sort of equilibrating to a hybrid model, but it still requires a lot of software to for these organizations to operate, uh, more so than before. And it looks like that trend is continuing, I mean, at an exponential rate. So... I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, the current trajectory of SaaS spend um, doubles or even triples in, say, the next five years. Um, there's just a lot of demand for improved tools, um, like, across every industry. And in most domains, uh, software is at the center of that. So super optimistic about the growth of SaaS spend. Um, and there's a lot of new, exciting startups that are starting up um, in that are leveraging tools like uh, ChatGPT and the different uh, machine learning models um, that, frankly, are very exciting, that uh, would, would make the workforce a lot more productive, um, would make work less uh, cumbersome, um, and would allow people to create a lot more uh, great art and great tools. So um, it doesn't look like the SaaS sprawl is slowing down, but um, on the on the positive note, it does look like a lot more organizations are recognizing um, these different problems like shadow IT, overspending on SaaS subscriptions and stuff, and better tools like StackShine and Least Query are coming up to fill in the gap for those organizations. So as far as the uh, magic crystal ball that can predict the future, um, well, uh, uh, hopefully uh, StackShine is building the future with Least Query. Um, what we're doing is um, we're working toward a future where um, cost savings and SaaS management is not really something you think about. Um, it just happens. So if people aren't using an Adobe license for, say, 60 days, there's no reason why you should be paying for that. And we don't have to wait around for software vendors to what, what feels like doing the right thing, um, which is to not charge for unused uh, licenses or seats. Um, instead, a, a system like StackShine would do that for you. Um, and also things like security audits and compliance uh, requirements um, would be, it, it would go from super painful like it is today from the SaaS landscape to really trivial where you just export the audit logs of who has access to what, what privileges do they have, when did they gain access, when was that as access revoked, um, and everything is all going through this sort of centralized nervous system that knows everything about uh, the software and who's using it and the security implications and the costs and all sorts of things like that. So I think like, just like we have um, like operating systems for our computer, um, I think more and more we'll start to see sort of unified systems uh, that uh, create a solution that feels like an operating system for an organization. One last question, and this one's just more of like, personal fun question, but are there any resources like books, podcasts, YouTube channels, anything that you enjoy or would recommend? Uh, a passion that a lot of us at Least Query seems to share is um, 
how this idea that the information is out there and it just needs to be bundled and um, processed and displayed in a way where we understand what is happening around us. Um, and there's like a, the data is beautiful subreddit or um, the, the tough visualizations, um, all these things are like, or the three blue one brown um, uh, YouTube channel, which, you know, helps people understand math through visualizations and stuff. Um, I think though anything that helps people tap into this sort of like primal visual sense of like, oh, wow, um, I can clearly see that uh, how much money we are paying uh, with, uh, say, underutilized licenses or overlapping subscriptions. A lot of the times that information is out there, but it just isn't obvious. And making it obvious is most of what Stackshine does. So seeing that in other fields, like, I don't know, um, seeing certain maps about like, oh, here's certain species of trees and things like that is always yeah. really fun for me. That's awesome. I like how those passions have kind of combined and we can um, get those recommendations from you as well and link to a few things in the um, show description. Again, thank you so much for joining us, Tyler, and thanks to our listeners for joining today's Accountant's Angle. You can learn more about Stackshine by visiting leasequery.com forward slash Stackshine and about our other products by simply visiting leasequery.com. Also, be sure you're on the lookout for upcoming podcasts on other accounting and SaaS spend topics, and don't forget to subscribe so you get new episodes straight to your inbox. Thank you. 